Alright guys, today we are going to be testing out the new CoverGirl foundation. It's the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir foundation. Okay, so I got this foundation. It was $11.99 at Ulta. It says foundation with vitamins. I got the color Creamy Natural. It says it's a lightweight, full coverage makeup. This formula hydrates SPF 20, vitamins and antioxidants, and it's oil free. Okay, so the claims of the foundation is that it's going to have a luminous glow. It's going to minimize the appearance of oily shine with the luminous glow. It won't be an oily shine, it will be a luminous shine. It's supposed to be a lightweight formula, and it's supposed to be suitable, suitable for sensitive skin. I don't have sensitive skin, so that won't really matter in this case. Okay, so we're just going to do like a normal foundation review. I'm going to apply one side with a brush, one side with a beauty blender. I don't prime my face ever just because... I find it useless on my skin. And we're gonna check in end of the day to see how it wears. A couple things I look for when I'm testing out a new foundation is one, I wanna know if it's oxidized, if it oxidizes, because then that will determine if you need to get a lighter shade because it's gonna oxidize or get your actual true to color shade. Does it settle into my fine lines and crease easily and like accentuate pores, which this one says it's not supposed to. When I have luminous foundations that I'm trying out, I want to know, are they too luminous? Because sometimes you can get that oily, too luminous. So let's try this out. We're going to do one side with a beauty blender. And then oh, one side with a foundation brush. I'm going to zoom you guys in for this part. All right, so the one thing I will already say that I love about this foundation is my favorite thing in the whole world when it comes to foundation is pumps. I either like pumps or the squeezy tubes if it's like a thicker foundation, but I hate like the poor ones. Oh, so I'm going to pump some on my hand. Ooh, I'm worried this is going to be too dark. It's actually fairly dark. On the thicker side, it's not super liquidy, but it's also not like a whipped thick formula. Okay, so I'm going to do one side with my beauty blender. Oh my gosh, this is dark. All right, we're gonna have to bronze up the neck. This is really orange too. Oh, it's got a smell. Oh, it's definitely got a perfume smell. I'm hoping it doesn't last because it's fairly strong. Going on quite well with the beauty blender, so. It just is fairly dark. And I even got one that's more on the neutral side because I'm like a neutral skin, but this is definitely more on the warmer side. It's a pretty foundation so far. It's applying really nicely. I'm a little worried that it's gonna oxidize and I'm gonna look like an Oompa Loompa. That's my concern at this point. Oh no, I just wiped off some of my eyebrow. But it does go on really nicely with the Beauty Blender. So now we're gonna try a brush. And for the brush, I'm using a, my Morphe 439. All right, the brush is not working. It's leaving streaks. I am gonna go in and finish up with a beauty blender. So right away, I already know that the brush is not gonna be as good as a beauty blender. Because it kind of left some streaks on the skin and we don't want that. And it kind of takes away the coverage a little bit. Like I noticed that this side was a little fuller coverage with the beauty blender and the brush kind of buffed it a little bit too much away. Yeah, I did my brows and my eyes first because there's a guy outside, my neighbor, who's been doing his lawn for, I swear, hours. Can you hear it right now? I don't know what the heck he's trimming, but he's been doing it for hours. Better blend that down since I'm not, this is a little bit too dark for me. But I kind of got it a oh, let me finish my first thought. Anyways, so I tried to finish my brows and my eye makeup first, but I don't usually put foundation on after my brows, so it's a little weird. But I got this foundation, and when I bought it online, I was wondering if it was going to be too dark, but I thought it's okay, because if I like it, it can be a nice summer foundation, especially if it has 
has SPF in it, but it is a little dark. That's okay, we can throw on some self-tanner or bronzer. Do you guys wanna know one of my worst pet peeves ever with YouTubers? <sighs> when they put on their foundation and it goes over their lips and it makes them look like one blank canvas, like their lips are in a different color, and it makes their lips look super dry. Mm. I don't know why it bothers me so much, like it makes my lips itch. Anyways, uh, let's take a look-see. Okay, so right off the bat, I like this foundation so far. It's not, I wouldn't say it's luminous at all, to be honest, unless it gets luminous throughout the day. It is definitely not luminous. The coverage was really nice. I only had to use a little bit. I actually wiped off the rest that I had pumped on my hand. Um, I would definitely say use it with a beauty blender. We'll just see if it oxidizes. I'm a little worried it's going to oxidize. So I'm going to go and put on the rest of my makeup and come back and we'll see if it oxidized. And we'll see how it does with makeup being applied over top of it. Okay guys, I am back. I have applied the rest of my makeup and it went on really smoothly. I honestly really like this foundation. Honestly, I don't know where their luminous claims come from because I would actually find this more mattifying as of right now. I wonder if like throughout the day it might get more luminous. I did have to put on a little self tanner to match because I did get a foundation that was a tad too dark. It did oxidize a little bit as well and that's why I put on the self tanner. So maybe if you're buying online or in the store and aren't quite sure, go with a lighter shade because you can always bronze up your cheeks if it's a little too light and it will just kind of blend in. But um, yeah, so it did oxidize a teeny bit. We'll find out throughout the day if it continues to oxidize at all. Sorry, if you see me looking, it's because my mirror is right here. Anyway, so, so far, I seriously love this foundation. I will zoom you guys in fairly close so you guys can see what it looks like up close. Okay, so this is up close. Um, yeah, I feel like my blush and bronzer and highlighter went really well. I did set under my eyes a little bit and then I set right here because, you know, mama's got wrinkles. But it does look really, really nice. Not luminous, definitely matte. I wouldn't even say that this is satin. I would say that this is matte, but we'll find out throughout the day if it's actually matte. I'm hoping it starts to get a little luminous as you wear it, because I tend to like that, but we'll see. I also would like love a good matte foundation because I have dry skin if it's not going to be too drying. So... I guess we'll find out. We don't really, I don't really know what it's going to do. So I will check in at the end of the night. I will see you guys in a little bit to see how this foundation does. It's almost 7 o'clock. It is almost 7 o'clock. Okay, so remember I said at the beginning there's three things I checked for. Does it oxidize? It oxidized a teeny bit at the very first, but only slightly. So I would not get a foundation that's too light for your skin, but if you're debating between two, get the lighter one because you can always bronze. Does it settle into fine lines? only barely at the end of the day. And to be honest, there's never gonna be a foundation that at the end of the night, it didn't settle into fine lines. That's just not just not happening. Especially when you don't set with a powder. Setting with a powder helps with that, but I don't set with the powder, so. The third thing was, is it too luminous? Absolutely not. I don't even know how they can claim that this gives you a luminous glow. Unless you've worn it all day, then I don't know if it's really the foundation or just your oils coming through. I actually think this is a little more mattifying. And then I thought it was getting dry around my lips and around my nose. It went away. Isn't that weird? Like it's not dry anymore. And I remember when I noticed it was a little bit getting dry, I kind of just patted it and like, Maybe I put on too much foundation right there and by patting it, I kind of took some off and it made it better. I don't know. So I thought it was getting like dry around here, but now it doesn't look like it. Do you guys think it's luminous? I really don't think it is, to be honest. I mean, it looks luminous right there, but that is highlighter. And if it looks luminous right here, that is also highlighter. But that's all foundation, and then of course my forehead is all foundation. I'm gonna have to say I actually like this foundation because I do have drier skin, so sometimes finding a matte foundation is a little harder. Or like, sometimes you either have a foundation that's super matte or makes you a little bit oily, and this one kind of just doesn't. Like you get that little bit hint of a luminosity at the end of the day, but not enough to where you look oily. It didn't break up at all, and I, but I'm not one to like really touch my face when I have makeup on. I love full coverage foundations. Even if you don't need full coverage, I love them because I will put a lot less on. 
I will do a light layer with the Beauty Blender instead of doing a light coverage foundation and then putting a lot of it on. Do a full coverage cap foundation and put a lot less on because it always looks better and more natural when you're wearing less foundation. So I am going to say that I give this two thumbs up. I really like it. Go check it out. CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.